Welcome back everyone. It is with great pleasure that I am on the September creative team for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and we are using the papers from the Courtier collections and it's called Gentleman's Emporium. As soon as I saw these gorgeous papers I knew that I wanted to scrap this photo of my grandfather that I've had for a while and I just never knew how I was going to scrap it but these papers just had his name written all over them. So of course the first thing I did was I went looking through all the gorgeous papers and let me tell you it was hard to decide which ones I wanted to use. In the end I chose this one here, it's paper 09 and I love the fact that it had 1897 because I found out my grandfather was born in 1899. So what I did was I, on my silhouette machine I just uh, got a cut file that was called film strip and there it is and I absolutely love it the paper was I wanted that paper because it was a contrast it was a nice deep green color and it went well with these other two papers that are going to be land up being my background paper these are the papers that I've picked for my background and at this point in time I have not worked out that the two papers are actually the one it's side a and side b and it's quite funny when I was editing because I was later watching myself on the video and I was looking at the papers going but they're the same side A side B and you, you will see me flicking backwards and forwards and in my in my brain it just was not computing that it was the one paper so it's a bit of a laugh I kept it in just to show that sometimes our brains don't work my excuse is that due to the uh, here in Australia we're going into spring so we've got our lambs or our ewes that are pregnant we've got others that are going into labor and due to the wonderful Australian drought the poor mothers don't have enough milk so every four hours or so I have to get up check on the sheep and uh, bottle feed any lambs that need bottle feeding so I guess my brain is not working too well so once I've worked out that the it was just one sheet of paper that I needed and I just needed to cut it I think I cut one one strips five inches and the wider strips seven inches going by memory and I've just got my distress oxides in vintage photo and I'm just going to ink around all the edges but I still cannot believe that it took me God knows how long to work out that one piece of paper was exactly the same as the other. Quite funny. Let me know if anyone has ever made any silly mistakes like that. So using double-sided tape, I've adhered the two pieces of paper to some beige cardstock. And then from my stash, I had this gorgeous washi tape. And it just went so beautifully with this collection, I just had to use it. I'm sorry, but I've got no idea where the washi tape is from. But I have a suspic suspicion it could be one of the Tim Holtz ones. I wanted this layout to represent the life of my grandfather so I'm going to land up picking one of the whiskey ads that are there because I know that my grandfather enjoyed his whiskey and then I saw this paper it's got a pocket watch on it it's paper 05A and I had to use the pocket watch because I don't know if you can see in the photo my grandfather has a, is wearing a pocket watch but in most photos, even in later years of my grandfather, he always had his pocket watch. So I just thought that was a good representation of him. Off camera, I also used some brown cardstock to mat my photo. And then I used the rest of the paper from the pocket watch to mat the photo because it had some lovely, earthy, more sort of beigey tones that went well with everything. And then what I did, I distressed all the edges of the paper. Sorry, my camera wasn't focusing. What um, The other thing I did once I distressed all my edges was I got my vintage photo distress ink and I just inked around all the edges. I absolutely love this uh, collection from Cordier, Cordier Creations. It's, as I mentioned, it's called a Gentleman's Emporium. And I don't have a lot of the embellishments that go with it, but you know me, I don't really care for embellishments so much. I love to make my own out of the papers. And this paper here, the 12, 12A paper, had this gorgeous, I guess it would have been an ad of from the times back then, and it's for whiskey. And as I mentioned earlier, my grandfather enjoyed a whiskey or two in the evening. So I thought this layout being all about him was very appropriate. And often on my silhouette machine, I also, used a cut file of some tango dancers as that is something that I found out that I did not know. It was just through talking through family members that I found out he liked to tango. He loved his music. 
And tango was a big passion of his, something that came as a big surprise um, big surprise for me because now I understand where I get it from because in my younger years I did learn to tango I most people don't know but I used to be a Latin dancer and yeah I learned to tango in my 20s so there we go maybe that's where I get it from my silhouette tango dancers were cut out of just some plain brown cardstock and it really didn't work with the layout so I inked, inked them with some distress oxides in vintage photo that didn't really work for me so then I took out my uh, Tim Holtz distress collage medium and it's called the colors called vintage and I absolutely love the the antique look that it gave to it and this was absolutely perfect for my layout so I was really happy with the end result. This is where things went a little bit wrong. I tried to do a little bit of the packaging technique without gessoing my page and it didn't quite work. So to salvage this what I did was I got out the gesso a second time round and I'm just going over that horrible brown mess that I made really because there's no other word for it but a great big brown mess and by putting the gesso on it which is what I should have done in the first place I salvage and rescue this layout. Okay so now I've taken my vintage photo and since everything's gessoed it's just working out so much better. So take it from me gesso your paper first but I absolutely love how it turned out in the end. To represent my grandfather's love of music, I found this stamp in my stamp collection. It's from Tim Holtz and it's just got all these gorgeous music notes on it. So I thought that this was going to be very appropriate in honour of his love of music. Finally, I'm bringing this layout together. I'm just adding all my little embellishments and I love how I was able to represent the life of my grandfather about his passions his loves and even to find out that he loved tango and that was something new for me so really really happy with how everything turned out and now I'm working on my title I used my silhouette machine to cut out my title which is simply going to be mi abuelo and that is my grandfather in Spanish the paper that I originally thought was going to work well didn't didn't really suit the page but that's not a problem. I got out my Tim Holtz embossing powder and the colour is copper and I love it. Absolutely loved how it just brought this whole page together and it just made the whole, just made everything stand out. So really happy with the end result. Finally I'm bringing my letters in and I absolutely love how they contrast against all my papers so really happy with my copper choice choice embossing powder and then I thought how am I going to spell my, hus my husband's my grandfather's name so I got out my pink fresh studio letters here these are some uh, puffy alpha stickers I guess you could call them and I loved the color it went well so I spelt out his name and then I thought well if someone saw this page I know it was about my grandfather but they really wouldn't know that the elements actually represent him so what I did was I did some journaling and I just basically in the journaling for anyone interested it says um, Antonio Bermudez loved his soccer his music loved to have a whiskey or two and he loved the tango now I know where I get it from so basically it's just some simple simple journaling for future generations to know who this wonderful man was Okay, lovely people, we've come to the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button to so you get notified of any more videos when I upload them. Thank you all so much. Until next time, take care. Bye, everybody.